السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning my lovely students Today inshallah I will teach you super goal 2 For the first intermediate grade in the second semester So open your book on page 28 Today inshallah we will take a grammar Look what can you see here model can So today inshallah we will learn how can we use can we use cam to express ability or possibility. So what does that mean? Uh, it means if you can do something. For example, I can swim. I can speak English. I can. Uh, but I can't drive. I can't. I can't. Let's see. Or I can't cook. And so on. Look what do we have right here. I can speak English. I can. So we have right here can. After can, the verb should be in the past form. No ed. No ing. No s. Just the past form. I can speak English. But I can't. I can't speak Chinese. Possibility, you can play golf and uh, resort, okay? I can't play, I can't play football today. I am studying for a test. Look what do we have here, affirmative. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. All of that we can say with it, uh, can. All of that we can say can speak English. Use can. After can, the verb should be in the base form. No ed, no ing, no is just the base form. Negative. Look what do we have here? Negative. I can't. You can't. She can't. It can't. We and they can't. And if we want to make a question, so we will switch. For example, I can. Can I? Read. Okay, just to switch. You, uh, can you read? Can he uh, read? Can she read? And so on. Short answer, you can, You will say, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, affirmative. If it is affirmative, you can say, yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. Yes, she can. Yes, it can. Yes, we can. Yes, uh, yes they can. If it is a negative, no, I can't, no, you can't, no, he can't, no, she can't, no, it can't, no, we can't, no, they can't. Okay, then look what do we have here. The verb like with infinitive. So what does infinitive mean? Infinitive, it means to plus the verb in the past form. This is the infinitive. To. Plus the verb in the past form. As you can see here. Are you, we, they like to read. So, to plus the past form. After like, okay. Look what do we have here. She, he, we add here S. Why? Because it is the simple present. She, he, it likes to read. If we want to make it negative. If you want to make it negative, as you can see, are you, we, they, we will say don't like to read because it is an uh, uh, infinitive. She or he, we will say doesn't like to read. We have a here to read because also it is infinitive. Want to make a question? Do you like to swim? Does or she or he like to swim? Yes, I do or yes, she does. No, I don't. No, she or he doesn't. So, do you have any questions so far, my lovely students? Very good. So, let's now move here. Complete the sentences with can or can't. So, we have here six sentences. We will complete it. Ahmed, come. Tonight, he is finishing an assignment. It means uh, homework, okay? His homework. Can't, look here, can't come. Why? Because he, ha he has to finish his homework. Number two, 
Can Luca drive them to the mall in his car? So this is a question. We will say can. Luca drive. As you can see, it is the best form. We can't meet tomorrow afternoon. I am going to the dent uh, dentist. So he, uh, he is going or she is going to the doctor. So we will say we can't. Mr. Sauer can't see you now. I am afraid he is very busy. So we say can't see. You can't speak in the library, but you can read. Ahmed can't stay very long. His friends are waiting for him. Very good. Yeah, let's now move to the second page here. Look what do we have here. Listening. Okay. Listening. Listening to the uh, advertisement for the new town mall. Right? Yes or no? So we will listen to advertisement for the new mall. So we will write yes or no next to these sentences. Okay, so now I will turn on the audio. So I want you to listen and to write yes or no according to the uh, audio. So are you ready? Very good. So let's start. Okay. So let's now read uh, first of all this sentence. The mall is located near the hospital. You can shop and meet your friends. You can go mountain climbing. You can uh, 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 roller blade. Uh, the Falcons is the name of a computer store. So now I will turn on the audio. Page 29. Four. Listening. Listen to the ad for the new town mall and write yes or no. Come to the new town mall. Be one of the first visitors to enter and get an amazing welcome gift. It's near the hotel, and there is free parking. So park your car, put your rollerblades in a locker at the entrance, and step right in. You can shop and meet your friends. You can just sit and relax at the Falcons, our rooftop cafe, or walk around and admire the wonderful new stores. Shopping can be a real pleasure here. You will find all the books and magazines you ever wanted in our new fully computerized bookstore. And of course, there is a fully equipped state-of-the-art gym with an indoor pool. If all this makes you hungry, try one of our fabulous restaurants. You can do all this and much more. Visit our website at www.newtownmall.com. Okay, my lovely students. So let's now read the, the questions and answer yes or no. Look what do we have here. The mall is located near the hospital. No, you can show and meet your friends. Yes, you can go mountain. No. You can't uh, roller flight. Yes. The Falcon is the name of computer store. No. Very good. So let's now move to the second page. Conversation. Then after that, we will take a conversation. Look what can you see here. We can see two characters, Ali and Imad. Look, they are playing. Okay. They are playing tennis, as you can see here. Okay, or I don't know what do we call this sport, okay? Look what do we have here. We have here blue phrases, two blue phrases, and we have here four questions. Okay, my lovely students, now I will turn on the audio. I want you to listen and follow. Page 30, 6, conversation. Can you play tennis? Yes, I can. 
Do you want to play a match? Sure. When's good for you? I prefer the weekend. I have more free time. How about Thursday afternoon? I can't. I'm busy. How about Saturday morning? Good idea. What time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock on a Saturday morning? Are you crazy? Okay, my lovely students. Look what do we have right here. So, when is, uh, when is good for you? What time is good for you? So, if you want to ask about the time, okay, if you want to meet someone and you want to ask about his uh, appropriate time, you will say, when is good for you? Number two, are you crazy? You are saying something I think is a stranger, okay? If, you, uh, uh, if, uh, if someone says to you something that you think it is not... not uh, uh, it is like a surprise for you or or is a stranger so you can say are you crazy come on what do you mean by that like this okay look what do we have here we have here as you can see four questions can Imad play tennis yes look here yes I can yes he can can Imad play on Thursday afternoon as you can see he I can't I am busy so we will say no he can't when can he play what time? So what do you think? Look here. Um, how about Saturday morning? So he can play on Saturday morning. He can play at 8. What does Ali think about the time? He, uh, he thinks that this 8 o'clock is too early. Because of that, he says, are you crazy? Okay, my lovely students. Actually, we are done. So thank you so much and have a nice day.